So you may have seen my recent video on this, the Thunderpole TX, and this is a brand new handheld for the CB frequencies that's absolutely mind blowing. And if you want to know more and see the initial tests, then check out the video in the description and at the end of this video. So I'm out here today testing this. This is the Thunderbolt SSD 12 Plus from Hawkins Radio. And I ordered this at the same time as the Thunderpole and it arrived later on. So this arrived this morning, I've unboxed it, got some bits together in the car and headed out to the local hill. I've got Rory with me, who's over that direction, over the horizon, and he's gonna be helping me test today as well. He's using a Thunderpole TX like this and a Stinger on a tripod. So this video is really about seeing how well this antenna works and if indeed it does work, which I'm sure it does. If we can make some additional contacts further afield out there in Manchester and beyond, then that's a bonus, but channel 19 at the moment is full and there's no chance of breaking in to put a call out. So we'll just stick with the test of the antenna and see how well we get over to Rory, who's a few miles that way. So the setup here is this fiberglass pole, which I ordered from eBay, which is seven meters high and the antenna is just lashed to it. At the moment, I'm just using a couple of cable ties, but I'll probably get some Velcro straps in the future. And the pole itself is lashed to this gate using some bungee cords. So as you can see, the antenna's fixed to the top. It runs all the way down, down to this connector here. And I've just got some additional coax going to the Thunderpole TX. So I'm ready to go. I'm gonna put a call out for Rory and see if we can make a contact. Yeah, Rory, you on frequency? Yeah, Roger Lewis, can you hear me over? Yeah, Rory, you're loud and clear. I'm, uh, I'm set up at Raworth. I've got the fiberglass pole behind me with the antenna going up to the top. I may actually invest in a taller pole, uh, to be honest, because the bottom of the antenna is just behind me. So, uh, yeah, but uh, you're sounding good. Give us some more audio and I'll give you a signal report. Yeah, Roger, I'm, uh, I'm using uh, the tripod antenna. So I've got my camera tripod with, I think it's a 5.8. Uh, Thunderpole, and uh, I've got the SWI down to two, and uh, it seems it seems okay. Um, I can hear you loud and clear. You're a, a good seven and five over. Yeah, okay, Rory, you're sounding good this way. Uh, you, you're actually fully quietening. Um, using my ears, I'd say you were, you know, you were off the scale, but. The radio signal meter on this answer is showing a, a signal seven, but your radio five uh, sounding absolutely brilliant. Um, so just give us give us a little information about where you are, uh, Rory. I know you're filming as well, so we can uh, we can give give everyone a, a look at your setup on your end. But yeah, just give us some uh, info about the, uh, the situation your side. Back to you. Yeah, Roger. I'm located in Lusley. That's Lima Uniform Zulu Lima. Yankee, I think. My dyslexia hasn't got to me. And um, I'm about eight kilometres east of Manchester city centre. And I'm on some high ground. I'll, I'm going to come back to you next. I'll tell you what the ASL is uh, over. Yeah, OK, Rory, that's no problem at all. Yeah, lovely. Like I say, I'm in Raworth, so I can see behind me off to the city of Manchester. I can see the airport. Um, I can see Alderley Edge. Stockport's hidden by Werneth Low. Werneth Low is just to the left of me, uh, a few miles away. So, yeah, there's some distance between us, um, Rory, but you're sounding brilliant. And you're on a Thunderpole TX, is that right? Yeah, Roger, I'm using the Thunderpole TX. Um equipment like uh, like the one you're using it's it's really good i would notice that the s meter is a little bit on the uh, on the low side i was speaking to someone in ashton and they were um they were they should have been really end stopping and they weren't so i think the the uh the s meter is a little bit on the low scale but apart from that the audio and the noise cancelling is exceptional over yeah, OK, Rory, I've just switched noise cancelling on then and just turned the volume down a bit, and it, it sounds brilliant, as I said in, in the last video on this radio. It really is um, amazing how it, how it does it. I'm not sure how it does it, but it works. So, uh, yeah, great stuff. Well, this antenna I'm using is the Thunderbolt SSD 12 Plus. Um, so I picked this up when I ordered the radio. Um, just uh, just thought I'd, I'd, I'd get an order in there and, and get that down, and it's arrived this morning. I've took it straight out of the box put it on the fiberglass pole and it's working really well. So I'm impressed. It'd be interesting to see if we can make some contacts further afield uh, today, Rory, back to you. Yeah, that, Lewis, yeah. Um, I must say, um, my, I, I've not got my ASL at the moment. I think I'm about 180 metres above sea level. 
Um, and I can see totally west from where I am. So I can see Manchester, Fiddler's Ferry, and then I can see as far as Bolton, and I can see right across to the Great Orm. So it's quite a takeoff, over. Yeah, really good, Rory. Sounding, uh, sounding brilliant. Did you have any other antennas you want to try, or do you want to see? Do you want to try stock antenna to stock antenna and see if we can make the trip over? Yeah, Roger on that, Lewis. Um, I'll, uh, I'll put the stock antenna and uh, come back to you, go. Okie doke. Okay, Rory. I've got the stock antenna on now, so I wonder if you've if you've got yours on. Rory, you receiving over? Okay, Rory. Let's. Um, I, I've put the. T I couldn't hear you on the stock antenna. Struggling on the telescopic, so we'll switch back. Yeah, Lewis. Um, I could just about hear you in the noise floor, over. Yeah, I couldn't hear you at all on the stock antenna, and I tried on the telescopic. I couldn't hear you on that. I'm wondering if if I change over to the stock antenna and you stay on your stinger, see if we can make the contact that way. Yeah, Roger on that. So I'll, uh, I'll stand by. OK, Rory, I wonder if you're receiving now. I'm on the stock antenna. Yeah, Roger, I can, uh, I can, uh, I can receive you, over. Yeah, OK, you're around a signal three then, signal three with a little bit of noise. If you um, just give us some audio, I'm going to turn noise reduction on and just see what that sounds like. Yeah, Roger, Lewis, I can confirm that you're S5 and, and, R, and, and radio three, over. S5, radio three, go. Yeah, OK, Rory, you were signal three then with the noise reduction on, but coming in really strong, it, it sounded 5.9 with the noise reduction on, which, again, just, just mind-blowing. Uh, it really uh, really makes all the difference. It sounds a little bit digital um, when you've got noise reduction on. I don't know if you, uh, if you noticed that as well, but, yeah, great stuff. Um, OK, I'll switch back to the um, dipole, and I'll come back to you. Yeah, Roger, on that, Lewis. Yeah, Rory, you can't, you can't get in on 19, that's the problem. Yeah, Roger on that, 19's been really busy and I'm getting over-deviation uh, one channel either side over. Your frequency, Rory. Oh, Roger on that, I can hear you over. Yeah, so you're a signal 7, but um, the audio audio is really down. Yeah, I, I'd echo that over here. The audio isn't as you sound slightly muffled, over. Let me try a noise reduction, Rory. Just give us some audio. Over. Over. Yeah, that's not going to uh, that's not going to cut it. I don't think. Let's go back to uh, go back to the FM. I'll see you on channel 14 FM, over. So we left the testing there and got some lunch. I wanted to make some contacts further afield, but the constant pile up on channel 19 made it impossible. The antenna performed really well, and Hawkins have recently upgraded this, adding an improved radiator section and extra ceiling. I must point out that this isn't a paid or sponsored video. I bought this antenna myself. It's basically a half-wave N-fed dipole that's 5.5 meters long and has a center frequency of 27.5 with a 1 to 1 SWR. It has a gain of 3 dBi and will handle 600 watts continuous or 1200 watts in short bursts. It cost me around £32 and fits in a really small bag so it's perfect for portable work when you need a quick setup. The fiberglass pole is 7 meters long and cost around £30. If you haven't seen my other Thunderpole TX video then I'll link it in the description below and at the end. Thank mm -hmm. you.